Good morning. So it is our first day in Busan. Today we're planning to go to the north side of Busan. First to Hedong Yonggung Temple. The second one is the Hyundai Beach, which is one of the most um, famous places, famous beaches in Busan, right? Yeah, that's where all the tourists go. So we'll be leaving in 10 minutes. So let's go. First destination is Hedong Yonggung Temple. To get there, we have to get on the train from Mulmango Station. As you can see, we're traveling via subway from Mulmango Station to Hyundai Station. It'll take us to a nearby bus station, and after one bus ride, we are nearer to our destination. It's quite a bit of a hike uphill from our bus stop. We took bus number nine. Now we're hiking uphill to the temple. Quite sunny and quite warm too. Here we are finally at the entrance. If you feel like eating a snack or buying souvenirs after going to the temple, this is the place, because this path both serves as the entrance and the exit. Sissy is already here to greet us. The walk to the temple consists of many stairs, so do watch your step. Like every student, we wished for good grades for the current and upcoming semesters. When you go near the temple, there's a cliffside if you want to enjoy a nice seaside view. Now that's what you call an amazing view. Now, into the temple complex we go! I'm at the entrance and guess what? It says the most beautiful temple in Korea. Once you pass the gates, you'll be at the courtyard area. You may see some small porcelain-like figures. These, as I've been told, are for good fortune depending on the written message. To our right is a souvenir shop. Unfortunately, taking videos inside is not allowed. We noticed people throwing coins to a bowl underneath the bridge. We were told that if you manage to throw a coin into the bowl, your greatest wishes will come true. So the stairs behind me lead to the uh, Buddhist Goddess of Mercy. It kind of takes a bit of a hike, so I'm going to try and check out um, the statue. Was it 
Sissy? I'm not going. Okay, Sissy's not going. Jeanette, you coming with me? I will support you from here. Okay, uh, so I guess <laughs> it's myself. Alright guys, wait for me, I'll be going up. Give me 10 minutes. It wasn't a long climb, but do be careful as the stairs were very steep. At this part of the temple, you'll get to see a nice view of the temple complex below and the seaside. After I got back to the courtyard, we decided to relax a bit at a small coffee shop which was across the souvenir shop. I drink at one of the uh, small cafes. I ordered like uh, green plum tea for like 3001 cold. Or hot, same price. It's not bad. What'd you order, Susie? Also green plum tea, but hot. But hot. Mm. What'd you order? Yeah. Oh, she sundra tea. Good for health, I guess. Really? Yeah. Is it good for health? It tastes not that bad. It smells like not that good, but it tastes good. Mm. I guess it's time to call it enough for the um, temple. So guys, what do you think? Is it was it good enough? Worth it? Yes. yes. Very beautiful. Really good. Okay. So next destination is on the beach. On the beach. Okay. Let's go. Food too. We are taking this bus to Hyundai Beach, right? making our way to Honda, Hyundai Beach but the street that we're walking on looks absolutely stunning. Take a look. When you want to visit Hyundai Beach, there's a bus stop that's conveniently located near the beach. Quite a relaxing view, isn't it? <laughs> it's the beach! <laughs> <laughs> also, think twice when carrying food in the beach area because the birds here will swarm you when they see you carrying around food. Now we're heading, um, we're looking for a place to eat for lunch. There's a couple of uh, installations in Hyundai Beach. We'll be back during the evening because um, it's like a light show. So now we're heading back to Vat Street over there to get our lunch. After searching for half an hour for a nice place to eat, we finally found the small ramen shop. We picked our seats, which are right in front of the kitchen area. For lunch, I ordered Nagahama ramen, which was 7,500 Korean won. Here it is! Looks very appetizing, right? Is it good guys? Yes, good. I'll be honest, that was one of the most delicious ramen I have ever eaten. While heading back to the beach, look who we found! delicious meal of ramen. We're heading back to Hongde Beach. Um, we're gonna wait out for the uh, sunset and then walk around that um, park with those pretty light installations. After that, we're going back to our house in Busan. But first, we have to wait for like one hour. 
sunset. Yeah, I'm probably gonna either go to an aquarium or go to a cafe or just wait outdoors until yeah the sun sets for like I don't know, just kill one hour of time. Here it is, Honday Beach during the evening. Turns out this area of the beach was lined up with gorgeous blue lights. So the light attraction actually uh, turns on at around 5.30 p.m. Uh, if you want to take a lot of photos, there's like lots of figurines up in the middle. There's like, the ch there's like um, presents, like yeah, present, the lights that represent presents. There are the ones that represent the uh, light bulb and a circle with plants. And right down in the middle, there's um, lights that resemble cherry blossoms. It's one of the best uh, photo spots there is right here. And here are Sissy and Jeanette at one of our favorite photo spots. Now we're finally heading back to our accommodation. So the uh, light attraction at the uh, Day Beach concludes our first day trip in Busan. Wait for our next video. I'm gonna show you what we'll, we'll be doing in our second day. Stay tuned. That's all for this video. But don't you worry, there will be more videos. If you want to support me, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Until then, see you next time.